Evans will be the twilighter for Leon Rogers. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Goodbye, Toledo. I got to meet this guy. He's got the greatest voice you can find. And I thought that kind of sums up what people think of Bill Baker. And, and if you ask somebody from the 83 Cowboy team or whatever, they would tell you the same thing. And I don't believe it. The final score, Northern Illinois is down to the posts. Northern Illinois has come from behind. They were down 20 to nothing. They were down 20 to nothing at halftime. They had been woefully outgained at halftime. And what Bill Mallory said, what he did in that locker room at halftime, I'll never know. But Georgia has won it 24 23. Hey, Bill, Vince Scott here, uh, 1983 uh, graduate. I can't believe it's uh, 43 years since you first started, and I was a freshman when you were. Uh, uh, your freshman year as well, uh, announcing, but uh, it's been a long time, but I'm uh, real proud to, to know that uh, um, you were a big part of our season in those four years back in uh, 80 to 83 and our California Bowl uh, victory and our championship. Um, still to this day, Bill, you're my favorite announcer, and I mean that sincerely, listening to you uh, uh, speaking on the radio and uh, listening to the Husky games, and so, I just want to wish you uh, the very best, and I know that uh, retirement's around the corner for you, but uh, wish you all the best in your future. You know, you think about it, 1980 is when he started, and think we've had several presidents between now and then and now. We've had several athletic directors. Between football and basketball, we've had several coaches, and probably thousands of athletes, football and basketball players, and one voice for Husky Athletics. Here I am, a, a high school kid back in the in the 80s and then I come here to NIU and he's already here calling all of my games pretty much and and to finish up his career on the court with him you know it was, it's pretty special. So Bill Baker I don't I'm not sure legend accurately describes the type of individual and the impact that he's made on Husky athletics. The nine yard line first and goal to go here's Lynch ahead Lynch using his blockers Lynch straight ahead Lynch touchdown Jordan Lynch for six touchdown Huskies. You can't talk about NIU football without talking about the voice, Bill Baker, and what he's meant to me when I came on as part of the broadcast crew and how he just brought me in with open arms and uh, taught me the ways of broadcasting and not just, you know, broadcasting and what goes on the air, but behind the scenes. Bill was never on time. He was always way early. I mean, he was prepared. He was ready. First and 10, Haldy, little pitch back at Michael Turner. Slants off right side, Turner straight down the center of the field. John his way to the 50. Michael Turner, nobody is going to catch him. He is to the 20, the 10, and a touchdown, Northern Illinois. That is a 73 yard scoring scamper for Michael Turner. If I can think of a few words that really describes him, he's committed to what he was doing. I mean, a guy that didn't want to miss a game, no matter if it was football related and, or basketball or conflict. He was going to find a way. Inbounds, Huskies, Corey runs it left side, nice. up and drops it home. He's definitely a Husky at heart. Uh, a, a guy that was, you know, committed, dedicated, professional. Uh, all of those things that really helped me. Someone that was just coming to uh, this space, really not knowing what to expect. And, and I know he probably wasn't know, didn't know what to expect either. But I think over the years, we really developed a, a good bond, you know, not only on the radio, but, but, you know, outside of basketball as well. When I first met Bill, you just felt that energy, that passion, that, that um, the realness. We talk about the hard way, we talk about the years of tradition, tradition doesn't graduate. Bill, he embodies all of that. You know, he's, uh, it's been great to kind of watch him during my decade of time with him, a snapshot in time where he's got, you know, years of uh, energy, history, love for the Huskies. Uh, it's, it's just been great to watch that because I get emotional, I get fired up and he feeds right into it, but then he throws it, hey, Sean, you remember this one did this and this one did that. And he brings me down to, you know, to a point of saying, you know, this is the expectation of Husky athletics, which is winning and doing things without compromising standards. Northern with a steal. Marcus Small with a tap of the steal. Walter Thompson Stanton, the long three. Got it! And the pass go to the way at the other end. Stanton came up with it. 19th turnover. Stanton right to the hoop. Hey, if they're going to give it to you, take it. Absolutely. 
the last bucket of Chick Evans will be the tri-lighter for Leon Rogers. That's fitting, isn't it? Rogers holds the ball, the senior tucks it away, it's over. It is over at Gattel, and Northern will win it by a margin of 80-70. And the last hurrah was a beauty. 1957, December of 1957 is when uh, the then Northern Illinois basketball Huskies played their first home game against Winona State. For the longest time, the conversation in DeKalb has centered around an arena, a convocation center, a new home. Joseph's into the backcourt, steps across the line. Clock at 18 seconds. Monique Davis out to watch Josephson. To the near side, Gabisa lost it. Picked out of there, no one in for the steal. Youngblood comes away with it. Ten seconds remaining. Monique Davis will push it up the floor. Davis out right. Davis down to the right baseline. Turns, fires the bike. Good! Two and three ten seconds left. Hefty from the timeline. Missed it. Game over. And Northern Illinois will win the opener of the Convocation Center in DeKalb. Bradley looking, and Bradley will get it into the hands of Hankerson. Runs it across the timeline. To the right-hand side, spins, gets it underneath. McCarty, my end, got it. Six-tenths of a second to go. Buffalo, the heave hole. Game is over. Northern Illinois won it. Not only do you call all these games, you did all your own engineering all these games. You know, not only is Bill the voice, the broadcaster, he was also the engineer. We've never seen so much duct tape in our lives, wires all over the place, but we got on the air and that's what you do as a broadcaster. And that's what made Bill so interesting. All the equipment, all the tools, tape, anything we had to do, bunny ears, antennas, whatever it took for us to get on the air, that's what Bill did. And that's what you have to do uh, as an engineer. And How about all the driving? Hundreds of thousands of miles driven on the back roads from DeKalb, the places like Muncie, Indiana, Kalamazoo, Michigan. And of course, your very favorite, Toledo, Ohio. Who can ever forget? Goodbye, Toledo! And there's the handoff to Garrett Wolf. Gives a little ground. Wolf trying to sprint left. Wolf gets an opening. Wolf to the 50. Wolf the 40. Will they catch him? I don't think so. To the 20, the 10, 5. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Goodbye, Toledo! When I first started with Bill, he actually mentored me quite a bit and has done so for 38 years. He's a man that knows his business. He's a man that's passionate with his business. Anything Bill does, he's passionate about, whether it be his family, which he's most passionate about. I think over the years, we really developed that bond. And to be able to know your family, as well as you knowing mine, that means a lot. So this is a friendship that I know will continue on. And again, thanks a lot for all that you've done, for not only for me, but for the university. You're going to be uh, highly missed. You got to love him. He's got that iconic radio voice that we're all familiar with. We've heard over many, many years. Second and 13, here's Finland, sets up, throws a post pattern, Daryl Hill, touchdown, Northern Illinois! Impressive, the, the loyalty he's shown to this program. He's seen so many ups and downs, uh, as you would with any program, and we, we hope to continue on the upswing and let him celebrate those moments for us and our families. Um, you know, just a special man that means a lot to the entire uh, NIU community. Uh, especially my family who is spread all over the area and, and had to listen to some games on radio instead of be there in person. Uh, he just personifies what it means to be a Husky. There's the snap, the placement, the kick is on the way, and the kick is good! Back champions! Back champions! Oh my goodness! From 20 to nothing down, they're back champions! Oh brother! Hey Bill, Chandler here. Just wanted to say uh, congratulations on an awesome career. Uh, it's been so much fun to get to know you over the years and uh, not only um, just listen to you on the radio, but also eventually become your friend uh, outside of uh, NIU. But um, everything you've done, you know, is, is just incredible how you've spread the word of, of just uh, the Northern Illinois brand. Um, it, it's just been, it's been so, so inspiring to watch and uh, I'm just so honored to, to be able to uh, even know you, number one, but to be able to call you a friend. And uh, I wish you nothing but the best moving forward. Uh, I know that you're going to do great things with whatever you, uh, whatever you choose to do. And uh, thanks again for, for everything you put in our program. Harnish will fake it, keeps it. Up the middle he goes, he's loose. 30, Harnish, 20, 15, 10, 5. Pass the putt on, he goes, and that's a touchdown. Northern Illinois. Touchdown, Huskies. Congratulations, Bill, on retiring. And Wish you the best of luck in that. We are certainly going to miss you. Uh, the Dean of Broadcasters in uh, the Mid-American Conference. Uh, I've been a lot, I've been in Miami a lot of years, but not as long as you've been at Northern Illinois and always doing a quality job and a great job for the Huskies. We are certainly going to miss you. 
They put Deron Brown in motion, wide side. Lynch is going to take it up the middle after the fake. Lynch angles right's got the first down. Lynch outside, 50, he's got a blocker. Lynch 40, Lynch far sideline, 30, he's on his way. Lynch 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown Huskies! Jordan Lynch for six! Bill, just want to say thanks for all the years of being a true Husky. Um, from one of my first road trips with men's basketball, helping you and Sid on the road, and we'll leave that story kind of unmentioned, but just open it up for that. Uh, to all the conversations we've had on all the different road trips uh, over the last, for me, 34 years, um, allowing me to sneak into the, into the booth and be your uh, extra set of eyes as I was doing our medical spotting on the road with Husky football. Uh, it's just been a great pleasure. Uh, you've truly been the voice of the Huskies. So from one uh, senior Husky to another senior Husky, thank you so much for all you've done for NIU. Bill Baker's a legend uh, for Husky athletics. Um, I've known him since I was 17 years old, so you're talking uh, 25 years uh, of a relationship, and he's, he's been a pillar uh, for this program. Uh, loved NIU, loved NIU football. There's the eye formation. There's the handoff, Thomas Hammock, touchdown, Notre Dame Illinois. Great ahead, he went north, he went south, and nobody able to keep him out of the end zone. Fourth and goal to go. Inside the Buffalo one, they'll swing to the right side, and it's a touchdown, Notre Dame Illinois. You talk about somebody being a voice. Uh, yes, they're the voice of the game. They're the voice on the radio or TV, but behind the voice, it's the bloodlines. It's what you feel about the team. And Bill was so dedicated to NIU athletics, not just football, basketball, all the other sports he had the chance to broadcast or talk about. Huskies come back to run it into the front court. Chelsea almost ripped out of her hands. Resets it to the hands of Hill. A long three, got it! Middle. The ball is at the 40 yard line. Goes at the football to the 40. Hand off it again, Michael Turner. and. Baker the handoff, actually Chris Finland's going to make the pitch down to Justin McCarran. He'll go for the goal line and a touchdown, Northern Illinois. He put his blood, sweat, and tears into everything for NIU Athletics, and that's helped me as a broadcaster as well to show how you get ready, how you develop relationships, how you talk to coaches, how you talk to players, and doing it in the right way and having the great relationships that Bill has had through the years here at NIU. That is what I've taken into being kind of that and finding out, okay, if I want to be a voice, if you're going to be a voice, that's how you're a voice, and that's why Bill Baker has been such a, a great voice for NIU Athletics for so long. Harness again looking to throw, delivers towards the end zone. Martell Moore, leaping grab, he's got the touchdown! Touchdown, Northern Illinois! We had a lot of fun, a lot of great games, a lot of fond memories. Uh, and I just want to personally say thank you for your encouragement and friendship and kindness that you showed me over the course of my tenure uh, at Northern Illinois. And uh, just want to wish you and your lovely wife, Karen, the absolute best as you move on to a new chapter uh, once this season comes to a conclusion as you step away from Northern Illinois Athletics. Sort of a soft defense. The staff is going to get past him under the shotgun. It's loose at the 30-yard line. Central Florida, it's still loose. Near the 25, they try to gobble him up. There's a pile, and Dorner will pick it up. That's Buster Sampson. He picks it up. He'll take it in for the touchdown. The ball was never downed, and Buster Sampson has recovered the loose snap. He takes it in for the Northern touchdown. Goodbye, Central Florida. A lot of fun, um, a million stories on road trips with not only football, but men's and women's basketball, NCAA tournaments, uh, bowl games, uh, you name it. Um, you know, Bill has, has really left an indelible mark on NIU athletics and the whole NIU campus community. Steps out left, they pop it up top, Geiser down to the foul line, sends it off to the near side, knocked away by Pottinger, take it back northern. Here comes Leslie Pottinger, holds up, E.C. Hill trails the play, E.C. has it near that center jump circle. Hill lobs it near side, Gracie Williams against Kim Wood, Williams with it on the floor, they give it into the hands of Hill inside, banked it up now, won't go, Williams follows, yeah! Stories with Bill, you have to start, when we're on the road, Bill loves his comfort inns. Bill thinks comfort inns are the best hotels ever. And they're not bad, don't get me wrong, but I love hanging out with him in the hotels. Uh, we would always make fun as we had a hot tub in one of our rooms. Uh, we'd like, oh, this is a hot tub in the comfort inn. This is a luxury. Uh, but Bill has thousands of points on comfort inn. We love staying in the comfort inns. That was Bill though, efficient. Just let's get there. 
let's do it the right way and set up for games. But the road trips going to Central Michigan and Eastern Michigan and uh, the, the war stories. You know, Bill will tell you, he, he fought in Vietnam and when he left, we were winning. He'll tell you that. And he talks about different war stories, but just broadcasting overall. Bill has done a lot of things, not just radio in his life. And he'll tell you stories about his life, about marriage that have helped me in my life. And yes, we laugh about it. Uh, and again, you know, we have a great time with it, but it, it was a team. Uh, for me, it was Bill Baker and Mark Lindo on the football uh, team. We were a team. Yes, there's a football team, but we also thought of ourselves as a radio team. We thought of ourselves as us getting ready for a game, the game plan, the setup. And yes, there's some crazy things along the way of uh, hijinks on the road and different smells on the road, uh, but it was always fun and Bill always put a smile on my face. We always had a great time traveling. We always had a great time period because that's how the atmosphere was with Bill. Bill's a guy that knows everywhere, you know, how to get to point A to point B. And for this particular reason, we were coming back from Miami, uh, no, we were at Ohio University and from Athens, and we were driving to the hotel. We were in separate vehicles. I came out separately from him, and he's going to let me tra uh, actually lead the way. So from Athens back to, uh, we stayed somewhere near Columbus, and I, we were going to dinner after the game. It was late, and it was kind of snowy out. <laughs> And I tell you, I got us so turned around. He, <laughs> he just kind of looked at, called me on the cell phone. Where, where are we going? What are we doing? Where are you? I'm like, Bill, just lead the way. Bro going back, last gasp, has the pass thrown underneath, and not in there. It was complete to the hands of Frank Jones, but he was pushed back at the two-yard line. And that is the end of the game. And the final here today at Husky Stadium in DeKalb. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Northern Illinois, 73. Fresno State, formerly of the top 20 in the country, 18. Bill, what a career. My message to you is just thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for me, my family. I've been able to talk to you about different things that have happened in my life, good and bad. Not just broadcasting, not the, everything that's happened on the air, but everything behind the scenes as well. I've learned so much from you about on air, but mostly off the air as well. Preparation, dedication, what it takes to be a voice of NIU and be a broadcaster. And I appreciate all the information you've given me, all the adventures, all the trips, all the laughters, all the screaming, all the crying. It's because of you and what you've done for me and all these adventures so far with NIU football and NIU athletics. I know you're gonna have so much fun in, re in, in retirement. I don't know what you're gonna do. I think you're still deciding what you wanna do and I think that's a great idea. But you know, I'm here for whatever you need. I know I'm gonna reach out to you as well. I'm gonna see you around. But again, congratulations on a just a tremendous career in broadcasting, especially here at NIU. The voice of NIU for over 40 years you deserve everything you got. Thank you very much, Bill, and I look forward to what the future holds. Goodbye Toledo is definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> I'll just say that. You know, there's some times when we'd walk into that building or we'd be at their field and everyone has counted us out. But when that goodbye Toledo happens, it's a, it is a special thing. There's only one Bill Baker, goodbye Toledo. So, goodbye Toledo. 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 Goodbye, Toledo.